Okay, so I've been removing grass for some pavement that we're gonna put down, some pavers. But uh, before I did that, I went down the YouTube cave. And when I went down the YouTube cave, I was looking for something that's gonna make this job easier. I knew it was gonna be hard. So first thing I came across was this thing right here was for you to get a 4x4, put a hole in it, have something to turn it with, and you could use this to create little sod rolls um, by, uh, before you use this, if you were to use a saw to cut lines in your grass. And the guy said, you're gonna look dumb doing this, so do it when nobody's watching. Well, I live downtown, so I just look dumb anyways. Tried it, didn't work. Don't waste your time, don't destroy your saw, don't destroy your blade, don't waste your time. I spent an hour trying to do it, didn't work. Maybe it's my soil, but it didn't work. The soil had been rainy last week, the soil was soft, still didn't work. So, then I saw another guy using a chainsaw. Again, don't ruin your saw. I'm gonna need to replace this blade, I'm gonna have to take this apart and clean it. It's going to take me probably half an hour to undo what I did and the cost of a chain. Um, so. Don't do that, didn't work. So what does work? Well, a shovel works for small jobs, but it's a lot of work and that's why I was on YouTube. So what did work? This guy right here, a little bit of a, you know, modern Gothic stuff going on here, but this is the best thing out of everything that I tried to work. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Oh, and before I show you, Harsh reality check. It's hard work. There's no way around it. You could go out and buy a sod ripping machine. There are other videos you probably bypassed in order to get to this one about sod ripping machines. If you don't have a strong back and you're not willing to put the hours of hard work and sweat in, then go get the sod ripping machine or pay somebody to do it. But if you want to do it yourself, get one of these right here. A little four prong fork here. I use this also to find worms and I'm gonna find some worms while I do this. I always keep the worms. Go fishing with them. Reward myself after a hot day's work. Let me show you how I do it. that all day long. I love using the fork to pick up the grass after I've done it. it saves your legs, your butt, your back from bending over to pick all that stuff up. I hope this has been helpful. Please like it.